Okay, we're speaking with Michael Haggerty, musician from Leave the Bards, and he's now with the Celtic Tapestry. Mike, welcome to the Sounds of the Emerald Isle. Thank you very much, Jim. Why don't you give us a little bit of your music background? Like, what, did, what kind of instruments do you play? Well, uh, I began at seven, learned to play the fiddle. Mm -hmm. And uh, since that, I've gone to the uh, guitar and uh, the mandolin. I like to play the mandolin, too, but I still think the fiddle's my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's probably what I get more satisfied at. Plus, I do a bit of singing. Right. And you'll be giving us a few songs tonight? Well, I don't see why not. Yeah. I might as well. Okay, and your group that you have now, Celtic Tapestry, you started that in 1977? Just, yeah, about the end of 77, beginning of 78, we started formed with... Um, I'd been with the bar to come over here in um, to the United States, to Washington, D.C., with the bar in 1973. Mm -hmm. We were here 10 years. It's ten unbelievable. Years. Long time. It doesn't seem like that, though, but here you are. And but you're originally from Derry. Yeah, I'm from uh, County Derry, in the middle of the county, a place called Maherfeld. Mm -hmm. So I came over and with the bards, and I played all across the country with the bards until um, the end of 77 and I wanted to stay in one place I was tired with the traveling all over the place and not really having a place to call your own. Right, right. So I came to Boston and got together with Lindsay Haynes mm -hmm. and we worked as Celtic Tapestry uh, up until 81, about the middle of 81. At that time Lindsay got married and um, decided she didn't want to mm -hmm. work full-time as a musician. So um, I kind of stumbled into Joe White, and uh, he's been working with me since. Joe's an excellent musician. You've right. heard him. I've heard him, right. right. Excellent. Plays the accordion, plays the whistle, plays the bass, plays the keyboards. And he's with the alehouse Cayley band <laughs> down at the old Irish alehouse. Yeah, the alehouse Cayley. Well, that's a kind of, that was kind of thrown together fast, but it turned out good. It certainly did, yeah. 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 The Cayley Band. That's becoming our biggest thing now, is the Cayley. Right. We clear out the middle of the floor, take out the tables and chairs. We dance the sets, the walls of Limerick, the Siege of Ennis, the Haymakers jig. We do the old-time waltzes in between. Well, I must say now, it's mostly um, Irish, native Irish people that do the dancing. Mm -hmm. However, the last couple of times we've got the uh, Americans involved, and they seem to love it. Right. They watch it for a while and it just takes a little bit of, bit of coaxing because I'm sure they've all tried square dancing and there's not a great difference. And they're having a great time with it. So we, we really enjoy it. I, I enjoy it especially because I can really relax yeah. and have a good time. And tell us what you do with Celtic Tapestry. Well, with the Celtic Tapestry, we used to do a lot of, quite a bit of traveling, but we were confined to New England, which was good. You could basically be back home within a couple of days, which w was fine. But um, now we're confined to the alehouse for when we play. We play mostly um, a week, a month, and whenever we get a cancellation or there's an emergency, we can jump up because Joe White works there as a bartender. Mm -hmm. And Joe is a resident musician, as, as you were. He, uh, if we need a bass player or a keyboard player, Joe is capable. If you need a pint bolt, you can do that too. <laughs> so, now I notice you have a lot of top name uh, musicians down there at the uh, the Yale House. Well, yeah, yeah we do. We uh, we definitely believe in keeping the caliber of our entertainment up there. I think it's very important. Right, right. Plus, if you have to listen to it all night and it's not too good, it gets kind of monotonous. Right. And I have to listen to it most <laughs> nights. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Now, you spend quite a bit of time uh, down at the Yale House yourself. Yeah. Uh, tell us what's expected on St. Patrick's Day oh, down there. What kind of an atmosphere do you expect? Well, no, <laughs> I don't know, but it's hard to predict. But I, I tell you, we're giving plenty of scope because we're opening at 7 o'clock in the morning. And that's basically for people who can get breakfast on their way to work. And mm -hmm. We are close to a lot of the hospitals there. So a lot of the uh, night people will be coming off at 8 o'clock, so they want to get the day started uh, with the breakfast, and then they can go home and get some sleep and come back again. Right, so, right. 
But it's going to be a big day with Jeannie McIntosh, who plays with um, Glenn Sheehan. Mm -hmm. She's beginning at 11 o'clock. And Jeannie's a fine You've heard Jeannie sing? Yes, I have. Fine yeah. singer. Excellent. Then, of Excellent. course, Joe and myself are fiddle, filling the middle spot between 4 and 6, 6.30, maybe 7. And the boys, the lads in from Dublin, they're uh, the Irish travelers, and especially for this week. Uh, they'll be on from 7 o'clock, I'm thinking, until closing. Right. So. so you expect a pretty packed house that night? We certainly do. We're having the breakfast up to uh, 11 o'clock, and then from 11 to 2, it's... Um, or lunch. After 2 o'clock, we cut off because it's just not going to be possible to serve food. It's right. just going to be too packed. Right. It's going to be people having a good time, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Well, we certainly wish you a lot of success at Plus the old guess. Irish Ale House. <laughs> Thank you very much, Made Jim. a few nice tapes up there. And yeah, that's right. We it's a very nice atmosphere. Getting to see you around there a lot, Jim. Delicious food. Thank you. How about a song? Oh, why not with that? I just happen to have the guitar with me, as you notice. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Haggerty. I think I'll do a, what about a, start, do a drinking one anyways. Okay. This is a popular one of the other houses called the Whiskey in the Jar. As I was going over the Cork and Kerry Mountain, met with Captain Paul and his money he was counting. I first produced me crystal and I then produced my rapier. Sit stand and deliver for I am the ball saver, my shilling and the dog. What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This whiskey in the jar. He counted out his money and it made a pretty penny. I put it in my pocket and I took it home to Jenny. She sighed and she swore that she never would to save me. The devil take a woman for they never can be easy. My shilling and the dog. What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This whiskey in the jar. I went up to the chamber, all for to take a slumber. Grand the golden jewels, and for sure it was no wonder. Oh, Jenny drew the charges, and she filled them up with water. And sent for Captain Paul to get ready for the slaughter. My shilling on the door, my dog. What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This whiskey in the jar. It was early in the morning, before I rose to travel. Up came a band of food men, and with them Captain Farrell. I first produced the pistol, for she'd stolen away my rapier. I couldn't shoot the water, so a prisoner I was taken. My shilling on the door, my dog. What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This in the jar, if anyone can aid me, tis me brother in the army. If I can find a station, be it Cork or in Killarney, and if you come and join me, we'll go roving in Kilkenny. I'll bet him to eat me fair than my darling sporting Jenny, but sure you would owe What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This whiskey in the jar. This sun takes the light in the carriages a rolling. Others take the light in the hurling and the bowling. Oh, I take the light in the juice of the barley. Gordon pretty fair mage in the morning, bright and early, my shilling and the dum a dum. What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This whiskey in the jar with the ring and the dum a dum. What ball that are we owe? What ball that are we owe? This whiskey in the jar. Oh, Tony, that was great. Fantastic. Thank you. How about giving us a tune on your fiddle? All right, I'll, I'll do a tune if you'll back me. If you can play the guitar. Sure, again. I'll back you on guitar. Good enough. Now, what song are you going to do for us on the fiddle? I'll do, I'll do that hornpipe, a little hornpipe called the Alhouse Hornpipe. Might as well play. This is one that you wrote now? Yeah, I wrote this one for the opening of the Irish Alehouse. Oh, okay. With all the work in there, and I'll tell you, I haven't had a lot of time to practice it, but what, what odds? <laughs>
by Michael Haggerty. This is Jim Larkin, along with Ellen McLaughlin. We hope you all have a very nice St. Patrick's Day and a safe one. And don't forget to enter the Sounds of the Emerald Isle contest by sending your name, address, and telephone number on a postcard to Sounds of the Emerald Isle, WBET Radio, 60 Main Street, Brockton, Mass, 02403. And don't forget, if you have a favorite Irish song you'd like to hear, We'll be glad to play it for you on the show. Drop us a postcard, and any song that comes in on a postcard for a request, we'll also put that in the Sounds of the Emerald Owl contest. So if you want to just write a request on the back of the postcard, we'll drop that in, and you'll enter the contest also. Now, next week, don't forget, we won't be on due to a hockey game. It's the only Sunday night that we won't be on. But two weeks from tonight, we'll be back on at 9 o'clock shop as scheduled. And we'd like to also thank the Brockton Enterprise newspaper, for the nice write-up that they gave us in today's paper. Thank you very much, Brockton Enterprise. And now, Michael Haggerty. Well, I think maybe I should uh, sing a song which is really famous that comes from my own county. It's a really nice ballad. It's called Danny Boy. <laughs> The pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountain side. The summer's gone and all the flowers are dying. Sounds of the Emerald Owl, and we'll bring to you more recordings that are recorded live at the Old Irish Ale House in Dedham. And don't forget, two weeks from tonight at 9 o'clock, and this is Jim Lack and along with Ellen McLaughlin saying have a very nice St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>
WBET 1460 now concludes its broadcast day. WBET operates on a frequency of 1460 kilohertz with a daytime power of 5 kilowatts and a nighttime power of 1 kilowatt. WBET 1460 is licensed by the Federal Communications Commission to the Enterprise Publishing Company. Studio facilities are located at 60 Main Street in Brockton and transmitting facilities at Torrey and West Streets in Brockton. WBET 1460 is an equal opportunity employer.